मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट नाउ आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इज अ मैकेनिज्म टू टेक ऑक्सीजन इन साइड एंड थ्रो अवे कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इट सर्व द बॉडी मच एस अ लाइफ लाइन एज एन ऑक्सीजन टैंक सर्व अ डीप सी डाइवर मैन नीड्स मॉलिकुलर ऑक्सीजन फॉर द ऑक्सीडेटिव एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन फ्रॉम कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स फैट्स एंड प्रोटीन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन सप्लाई टू द सेल्स एंड द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फ्रॉम द सेल्स आर कॉल्ड रेस्पिरेशन the inhalation of oxygen and after some chemical changes waste product are formed then exhalation of waste product take place the process of inhalation of o2 oxygen and exhalation of co2 carbon dioxide plus h2o water is called respiratory process there are various organ of respiratory system which play a vital role in respiration these are nose pharynx trachea bronchi diaphragm lungs first organ is nose the only externally visible part of the respiratory system is nose air enters the nose through the external nostrils the nose is the most important organ of smell and it has significant part in respiration it consists of two parts the internal cavities and external feature internal cavity these two cavities are separated by partition or septum at the entrance each cavity has numerous coarse hair the hair of the cavities serve as the filters to remove particles that may be carried in with the inhaled air external features it is composed of a triangular framework of bone and cartilage covered by skin in the inner side of the nose there are two oval shaped opening called nostrils next is pharynx pharynx or throat is present behind the nose it is muscular tube which extends from the base of the skull to its junction with the esophagus at the level of cricoid cartilage muscular passage from nasal cavity to larynx three regions of pharynx nasopharynx superior region behind nasal cavity oropharynx middle region behind mouth and the last part is laryngopharynx inferior region attached to larynx the oropharynx and laryngopharynx are common passage way for air and food the another is trachea windpipe connects larynx with bronchi lined with ciliated mucosa it is some sort of tube with cylindrical shape its length is about 11.2 cm with diameter of 2 cm to 2.5 cm it lies in front of the esophagus and extends from the larynx then it is divided into two bronchi one for each lungs the wall of trachea are made by haline cartilage on the mouth of trachea there is valve called epiglottis the epiglottis prevents the food to enter in trachea it beat continuously in the opposite direction of incoming air it expel mucus loaded with dust and other debris away from lungs walls are reinforced with c shaped haline cartilage bronchi there are two bronchi into which trachea divide they differ from each other the right bronchus is smaller wider and more vertical than the left bronchus formed by the division of trachea enters the lungs at the hilus bronchi subdivide into smaller and smaller branches what is diaphragm a sheet of internal skeletal muscle that extends across the bottom of the rib cage is known as diaphragm it is muscular and tendinous septum that separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity it is the primary muscle of respiration shape of the diaphragm it is dome shape consist of peripheral muscular part and a centrally tendon part lungs in the human body there are two lungs these lungs are the vital organ of the respiration these are cone shaped organ with the apex above
The base of the lungs lies resting on the floor of the thoracic cavity on the diaphragm. The lungs are divided into lobes by fissures. The left lung has two lobes and the right lung has three lobes. Each of these tubes enter each lobule and as it divides and subdivides its walls become thinner and thinner and finally end in the air sacs of the lungs. What is respiration? Respiration is the process that all living things go through to create the energy they need to live. In another word, respiration is a chemical reaction that happens in all living cells including plant cells and animal cells. It is the way that energy released from the glucose. Types of respiration. There are two types of respiration. First is internal. Internal or cellular respiration refers to the intercellular metabolic process carried out within the mitochondria which use oxygen and produce carbon dioxide during derivation of energy from nutrient molecules. The exchange of oxygen O2 and CO2 in the tissues constitutes internal respiration. It consists of passage of O2 from the blood into the tissue fluid and from the tissue fluid into the tissue cells and the passage of CO2 from the cells into the tissue fluid and from the tissue fluid into the blood. The another type of respiration is external respiration. External respiration refers to the sequence of events involved in the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the external environment and cellular respiration. When we inhale O2 oxygen, it flows through nose, trachea and bronchial tubes to alveoli where it comes into close contact with the blood in the pulmonary capillaries. Only single membrane separates the oxygen from the blood. Functions of respiratory system The air that we breathe in are filtered by three bony projections that are present in the nose. The air pressure is equalized between ears, nose and throat by eustachian tubes. The food is avoided to enter in respiratory tract by larynx. A passage for air to travel from larynx to lungs is formed by wind or trachea pipes. The inner wall of windpipe traps the particles of dust and microorganisms. Bronchi helps in gaseous exchange within the lungs.